Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for the Have It or Have Not Season 7 Episode 9, the finale. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. Now you guys, I had a feeling that Tyler Perry was going to pull some mess like this. I spent the whole season coming up with scenarios to make the storylines make sense. And I knew he was going to come along in the last episode to be like, bam, y'all really going to have to come back for season 8 to see what's going to happen. I already knew that was going to happen because that happened last season. I was like, you know what, Tyler, you, you trying it with me. And then he had that last episode and I'm like, okay, now I got to figure out what was going on. He did that yet again. I'm telling y'all, Tyler, you need me and you need James Caldwell to come over there to Atlanta it, um, to help you write these storylines. Even if we ain't even got to go to Atlanta, like I can e email you how the story should go and you can just, you know, direct that positive that money right into my account. But anyways, the first storyline, it didn't make sense. David and Jeffrey are at his house. Now, Jeffrey's going on about telling him how Justin got beat up, Justin got raped, it's Veronica's fault, all because he slapped her. Now, if you know she, J Veronica did this to Justin off of a slap, don't you think she's going to be coming at you with full force? So why are they at David's house? Why are they not at an undisclosed location? Granted, he can't leave the state because, you know, they got charges against them, but... You should have some kind of house somewhere where she wouldn't think that you would be staying at and not at your house. But Veronica sends the goons in and David, he was ready kind of sort of in a, in a way because he got several guns in the house. He got one up under the pillow. He got one in the potted plant. He got one up under the pillow cushion on the chair, doggone it. He was like running like in formation like he been doing this like all his life. So him and Jeffrey, we got guns and we just shooting at people. Now we don't know if they got hit or if the goon squad got hit or not. But we do know that Veronica's outside smoking a cigarette walking off into the yonders. Not knowing if like who got you know shot and all this other stuff, but I'm like Veronica, when you, I'm gonna need you to stop hiring these people to go out there and kill folks, cause the last person you hired turned on you. Now let's just say one of these dudes gets shot and killed inside David's house. Police gonna get there, see who dude was, realize dude was just in jail, and gonna see that you was one of the you was the person that got the dude out of jail. Like Tyler, did you not like you know? Think about that when you was writing this whole scene. Because I sure did. Moving on. Mitch got Jim thinking that everything is cool with the Malone family. You just pay $75,000 and we just going to, you know, just, you know, all your troubles with the Malone family is just, your debt is just wiped away. Yes, you know, what's his name? Wyatt, you know, tried to kill Uncle Vic with the little, the, the, with the glass bottle and all that other stuff, but the $75,000, that's gonna squash everything. But I'm like, Mama Malone went off and killed War and his whole crew because Mitch was in a room where bullets just happened to be flying around. Mitch did not get hit at all. The fact that Mitch was in a room where bullets were going off and what was the War and his crew was responsible she killed War and this whole crew. So you mean to tell me that, you know, Jim was just going to be like, okay, Mama Malone, Mama Malone forgave what was going on, you know, when Wyatt almost killed her son. Like, that whole scene didn't make sense to me at all. But I was like, okay, Tyler, this is what you're talking about. Like, I just figured that, like, since, you know, they bought that life, the Malone family, since, okay, Mitch... In a room, bullets flying around, he didn't get hit, war, his people gotta go. His, his, his crew gotta go. Uncle Vic almost dying, that means Jim's whole family gotta go, take him out. And I'm not just taking him out like you just go ahead and take him out right quick. Like a slow and painful, where you gotta watch your lo loved ones one by one taken out. I'm talking about a first cousin that you didn't even know about getting taken out too just because they got, they your family. See, this is what I thought was going to happen, but I was totally wrong because 
Later on, Mitch goes over there and tells Benny, I done saved your tail yet again. Saved you that one time we was getting beat up by David. And, you know, I saved your tail when I got our, the phone lines back on at the, um, at the, what's it called? The, um, tow yard. I'm saving your tail again. Don't ask me how. Just know your debt is clear. So he goes to see, um, Uncle Vic. Alright, here's the money for the choir people. Here's 75, here's 70, uh, 50,000 dollars. Here's Benny's twenty thousand dollars. Uncle Vic was like, "Yeah, he owe me extra five thousand dollars for interest." Here's the five thousand dollars. All right, Benny, his debt is paid off. Off. All right, he got the money. I don't know how. All right, this is what I do, and just walked off. I was like, "So they just gonna take you know, Jim paying them fifty thousand dollars for you almost dying?" That that didn't seem right to me in that storyline. It just seemed like lazy writing. It seemed like Tyler Perry writing. So, this is when I was side eye and Tyler yet again. Because Veronica, she goes to the hospital to see Justin. And Justin is talking. Now, last week we found out from the doctor who was just spilling all his information out in the public. Not taking Jeffrey off to a, like a, you know, a room off to his own to tell what was wrong with Justin. Just like, oh, yeah, his jaw broke some several cracked ribs. He was very violently raped, all that other stuff. Didn't take him off to the room or nothing. But Veronica in there talking to this man, and this man's mouth ain't wired shut. He ain't even acting like his mouth is wired shut. He's just talking as freely. I'm like, yo, y'all supposed to be broke. You should have been right, went straight to surgery. You should have been talking like this. But you're not. You're having full-blown conversation. But she does, she lets him know that, you know, that is just a warm-up to the tail whooping you're going to get. Yes, this is just an appetizer. Just wait till the full course come. He's like, please, I'm sorry. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, apologize to the queen. Not to Jeffrey, but to me. I'm like, Veronica, for somebody who hates gay people, you sure do know a lot of gay lingo. I just find that very interesting. You just so hate, hate and hateful that you are hating so much that your son is gay and any other gay person, but you know so much gay lingo. I, I just didn't understand it. But she just let him know, I'm going to let you heal before this other beat down goes down, okay? I'm going to let you get together. I'm not going to be that mean and just have you get re-beat up and your, you know, you got some bruising around the ribs and you still got cracked ribs and your jaw is still broke even though you still have a full-on conversation with me. I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to wait for you to get healed and then I'm going to send them back up on you. I was like, I guess. Now, Wyatt is looking for drugs again and RK is the only person he can get drugs from so RK comes over yet again to give him some drugs. Now he complaining because it's not enough drugs in the bag. I need more drugs. But RK is like, well, if you would give me cash money, I will give you more drugs. You give me jewelry means I have to do a little extraness just to get the cash. Give me cash, you'll get jewelry. This is how it works. Jim pops up, sees what's going on between them. Then why is over talking about some RK so cast on Julia? I'm like, when when he have time to do that? He was in the foyer of the house. He didn't get to the living room. He didn't go upstairs. You were a crackhead. You were a heroin addict, but crackhead sounds so much better. I'ma need you to stop. So RK was like, okay, we doing this. So you gonna say I'm out here a thief? Yo, he got a whole stash of cocaine up in his room, bruh. Yep, whole stash. So now, Jim is going on the cast and talking about some had she been a better mother, Wyatt wouldn't be the way he is. I was like, well, maybe if you would let Wyatt take responsibility for the things he's done, y'all wouldn't be in this situation. Had you just let Wyatt go to jail when he almost killed Benny and when he killed that little girl, Y'all wouldn't be having this problem. He would be in jail somewhere. Granted, he would probably get in just as much drugs. We can get just as much drugs in prison and jail you can't add on the street. But had you let him take responsibility for that, you wouldn't be in this situation. Because he wouldn't have been out. Then he wouldn't have been out, out here almost killing Uncle Vic and getting the Malone family against you. And then you wouldn't be in trouble with the law for trying to cover up all the mess that he's done. So we're not just going to sit here and blame Catherine for that. No. 
We moving over to Hannah and Candace. Hannah, Hannah tells Candace that she, Derek raped her. Now, she was thinking that, you know, this is like, she knew that, you know, Hannah got raped, got created by some man and got Candace's ass. She thinks this is a whole new rape. She's like, no, no, no. He raped me. It's the only time I've been raped. Oh, so he my dad. Yeah, he your dad. But we can't tell many none of this. But Candace's like, you know what? I was raped a lot from the time I was seven up until like like two weeks ago or however long this storyline is when war was up there breaking in her house and raping her like every other day that old raggedy woman justin's mama seen everything was going on but you didn't see war breaking into her house i know that ain't got nothing to do with anything but she was like you know that anger it made her strong was like no that made you evil. Not trying to be mean, baby. It made you evil. It didn't make you stronger. But the thing is, we can't tell Benny. Because, you know, Benny ain't got it all right in the head. Benny gonna lie, but he killed her. And then he gonna be in jail somewhere. So, even though a part of me wants Candace to take the money. The fact that Benny wants her to take the money is making me be like, no. Because I don't want to agree with Benny. I was also her keeping that money. Go, girl, go ahead and keep that money. Y'all, y'all deserved it. Well, B Benny deserved it because he almost died at the hands of Wyatt. And that's really Wyatt's money. You should keep that money. But I don't want you listening to some old stupid mess that Benny's talking about. But she's tired. She don't want to be looking over her shoulders. She know, you know, Jim is going to be coming over here giving y'all all kind of trouble. I don't want my mama to cut, cut Jim. I don't want you beating on Jim and busting your stitches no more. I just don't. I don't want it no more. I'm just tired. And I, I really, really, truly do. I'm tired of looking over my shoulders all the time. I'm just tired. So the last scene, I was like, okay, Tyler, we could have scratched off a good portion of this whole episode. And we could have had this and a lot more. So, y'all know why he's been threatening Hannah, not Hannah, he's been threatening, he's been threatening Catherine and Jim for like the whole season and nobody's been paying attention to what he's saying. But tonight was the night. He didn't got the granddaddy shotgun, Jim in there on the phone with somebody and why just a ch -ch -ch. And I was just like, I wish he'd just ch -ch -ch and just went on here and shot Jim right there in the back. But Jim turns around like, what you doing? And he's like, no, son, no. Boom. Jim on the floor. Catherine hears this. Then decides to go investigate the strange noise. So she comes downstairs, sees Jim on the floor in white with the gun. So now she got to run upstairs. And since she a white woman, she got to fall. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's obligated for a white woman to be running from somebody that she has to fall. Nothing to fall on. Maybe it was her nightgown. I don't know. But she falls. She's in the bathroom. No, no, why don't. Ch -ch -ch. Boom. She gets hit. She falls in the tub, face down, so she now she shot and she drowning. So why are he's feeling all cool, cool? And this is when George, the DA, shows up. Wyatt opens the door, gun behind his back. Where are your parents at? They're dead. He has gun out. Gun! Well, they didn't, because they didn't have no shotgun. Push George out of the way, shoots Wyatt on the ground. Now, I already know this is Tyler. Tyler Perry land. Everybody gonna be all right. I already know it. You can't tell me the otherwise. Somehow, um, Jim that got clipped in the shoulder. Somehow, Catherine had some kind of padding gums or, or like the, her bra strap was extra metal and it hit her and it just kind of like stunned her. Wyatt, he was just grazed and since he's on heroin right now, you know, it didn't really affect him. I already know everybody's going to be alright because this is Tyler Perry land. We didn't see what happened to David and Jeffrey. For all we know, they are totally dead or they walking around and somehow they didn't shot everybody but they have yet to get shot at all. But I was like, I needed that. I have been waiting all season for something to happen to Jim. Jim then got beat up several times over and didn't even have a little cut right there. And I was mad about that.
So that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It is free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on so when my beautiful face puts up a new video, you will know. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. Tell your people to tell their people to come over here and be one of my peoples. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.